Eden and Diane's 2018 NFL Draft Round 1 tonight. Patriots have uh, picks 23 and 31. Um, going to try to keep updated as best I can. Um, anybody has any questions or comments, I can just ask and I'll get to the timely manner as quick as I can on the ball picks. I think right now, you know, I've looked at it a lot. I'd be perfectly happy if the Patriots trade out of 31 or 23 and acquire a 2019 first round pick. I just think that this draft is crazy. It's so up and down, widespread. Guys picked from anywhere from you know top 10 to 50. I mean, that's I, I've never seen that before. And I think that the experts just don't know who's going to go where until they go. And I think that's a tough way to prognosticate and predict. But if they walk with a, a tackle at 23, like Colton Miller, McGlinchey from Notre Dame, or uh, Tyrell Crosby from Oregon, I'd be perfectly happy with that. I don't think you're going to see them t take two guys unless they really like two guys. I know they like Rashawn Evans a lot, and I know they like Jair Alexander. Those are two guys I mentioned um, in the post. If those guys are there at 23, they got decisions to make. I think they like Lorenzo Carter, but I think they're going to wait and try to get him tomorrow. Those are three guys I think they've targeted in some way, shape, or form. Now, need trumps that. Right now, they need an offensive tackle. And Colton Miller might trump those guys, particularly at 23, if they feel like they can't get him at 31. So you have to factor all these things in. There's so many moving parts. It's one of the most difficult things. That's why I think today should be a national holiday for football fans, because it's a big day. It's how you build your team. And days like today can win you a Super Bowl in two or three years, or it can make you pick in the top 10 for the next four or five years. That's how big the margin of error is, because these are the guys that don't make a lot of money for their first five years, and that's how you build your team through the draft. Everybody says it. It's the way to go. So I'm going to go with my last prediction, and I'm going to say that the Patriots take Colton Miller at 23, offensive tackle, UCLA, 6'9", 309 pounds, big kid, projects a lot like Nate Solda, very athletic, um, pretty much can do a lot, and Solda was a tight end in college, this kid's been a lineman for three years, that's another thing to keep in mind. I think that they'd be perfectly happy if they get a guy like Nate Solda coming back, and especially that they don't have to pay him that much money because he's on the back end of the first round. And I know I've been saying I don't predict trades, but I'm going to predict that they trade out of 31 and they get a first round pick in 2019. I would be perfectly happy if that's the route they go because they're building for the future and they need to get ready for Brady, Gronkowski, and whoever else decides they don't feel like playing football in the next uh, couple of weeks. <sighs> Kidding, meaning two years, but primarily this is what we're looking at. Uh, I don't think the quarterback goes tonight. I did think Mason Rudolph is a guy they targeted, but they might not have to trade up to get him if that's who they want. I still think they, like, between him, Loretta, Mike White, Luke Falk. Um, I think they really like Lamar Jackson, but I just don't know if they're going to unload to get him. I think it's a risk. Well, everything's a risk, but they like to play the short card instead of the risk card. I'll be in touch soon. I'll try to do the top five picks before they go off uh, around 8 o'clock. Enjoy, guys. It should be a fun night.